Hello everyone, it's Yolanda Renee and Taylor. Today we are gonna be doing this amazing twisted updo with Just For Me's Natural Hair Nutrition Collection. If you wanna see how we got this look, stay tuned. The great thing about this collection is it's infused with coconut milk, shea butter, vitamin E, and sunflower oil. We are going to be styling on balloon out hair, simply work in small to medium sections, stretch the hair and blow dry in a downward motion. Once the hair is about 90% dry, you can go ahead and use a detangling brush to really smooth out that section and then repeat. Also, when you blow out your hair, you may notice that you need to dust your ends or trim your ends. So go ahead and do that if you feel comfortable. For this blowout, we started on freshly washed hair and we have a leave-in conditioner as well as a heat protectant. Do not add any oils to the hair prior to blow drying. Do that afterwards. almost done and now we're going to reveal what Taylor's hair looks like blown out she has not seen it blown out in forever um, but we're gonna work in these four sections so don't get confused we're gonna put it back in the four sections so we can start this style Again, we're working in four sections. So make a part ear to ear, making the front two sections smaller. The back are the larger two sections and we are gonna be doing flat twists, starting from the bottom going forward. Use the Bantu knot technique to secure the back flat twist. We will be taking these down towards the end of styling, um, you know, to blend it in with the front. But for now, use the Bantu knots just so these twists will stay in place. Now it's time to start doing the two strand twists in the front. We are gonna be making three to four twists in each section. The key to this style are very loose twists to create that flawless, you know, twisted updo look. So after you're done twisting, pull the twists apart gently to make them appear more puffy. But be very careful not to unravel them too much.
now that we have all the twists complete, we are going to basically just put these twists all over the place, make it look right. What I've done is I'll take, you know, one twist from the right and wrap it to the left and then just crisscross back and forth like that. But you have to make sure that it flows. And if you notice that a twist is too tight, make sure that you're loosening it back up. If it's not looking right where you place it, find somewhere else to place it. There's really no method. You just have to make it look right. Oh yeah, and if it's not already obvious, we are using the bobby pins to secure each of these twists. Once you have the two strand twist placed, you can go ahead and take those bantu knots out of the back, but make sure the hair remains twisted. These are the flat twists that are going from the back forward, and you're going to go ahead and place those with bobby pins as well. And make sure it flows with the style as well. You may have to move some twists around, but just use your creative eye and just make sure that these twists are where they should be. So here is the final look. It is very chic and just so adorable. Taylor loved this style. She said that it looked like she had a crown on, like a princess crown. So I really liked her reaction to this style. We're just going to add some final touches, making sure these twists, like I said, are where they should be. Also, smooth those edges down. I like to make her um, sideburns little curly cues, and you can do that by just adding some more of the smoothie, and it'll curl those pieces right up. <laughs> 